Hi everyone, this is Michael. I'm gonna be doing my eighth pick by pick draft tutorial. Um, this time I'm gonna be playing uh, Karash, the warrior. Um, let's talk a little bit about his hero power, which is the most important part. Um, know that just like the hunter, I mentioned it a couple of uh, episodes uh, earlier, um, the hero power has no direct influence over the um, on the board position. And that's a big problem because, especially in the beginning, um, because while um, Jaina, for example, really can complicate the choices of the opponent by you know uh, it's kind of difficult to play one toughness creatures. You need to know when maybe I want to play a bunch of them simultaneously so they won't die one by one. I don't know. It's complicated. You need to think about it. Unlike armor up, okay, my enemy gains more life. Well, I don't really care. Yeah, I'm gonna take control of the board and try to kill him eventually. It might take me a little bit longer. So, what can you do anyway with the uh, the ability? The idea is a to uh, play relatively well, a relatively controlish uh, way, right? Because uh, I can stall better. Yeah, I have more life. Um, and besides, the most important part of every warrior deck is, of course, the weapons. Okay, this is basically your main card advantage mechanism. Okay, um, you want to trade uh, your life total, which is growing using your hero ability, uh, for the enemy's creatures. Uh, that's the philosophy. So, without further ado, of course, uh, as in previous uh, video, I assume you watched at least some of my uh, uh, latest installments. So I won't be talking about you know every pick. Okay, let's get down to it. Is a pick. Uh, the wild pyromancer is sometimes kind of useful. Ancient watcher. I think it's too complicated to make to actually activate it um, in a draft deck. Uh, in constructed, it can sometimes be very viable. Knife juggler is amazing. Doesn't matter what you play. Uh, it has very decent stats for two mana, and it's a really really big big. Um, card advantage mechanism. Uh, okay, uh, moving on. This is crap. I don't like the bodyguard. Slam is very useful. Um, don't make you know silly mistakes like uh, if you need to, for example, attack the enemy creature and slam it for it to die. So please remember to slam it first, attack later. Okay, otherwise you don't get the card. Slam it is. By the way, it can activate your own uh, you know, if you have um, enraged creatures, so always remember that that's another option to use slam. Um, all three are very decent. Um, execute is good uh, mostly against really big creatures. Uh, it's like um, poor man's removal spell. Um, I'll go with the Reaper. Remember not to take too much Reapers, unlike the Axe that's uh, 3, uh, well, uh, the one that costs 2 mana. Uh, you don't want to have too many uh, uh, 5 mana weapons. Uh, it, you know, it hurts your tempo uh, eventually. Anyway, uh, moving on. Charge. Personally, I don't like it. It's too expensive, okay? Uh, the plus 2 attack, well, it's nice and all, but the charge is useless unless you you know play it on the same turn that the minion entered the game right obviously uh, but it costs three additional mana on the same turn that you play the minion I don't like it this is a tough call because uh, for example I have right, uh, hopefully I'll get a whirlwind later on which is a nice card on its own uh, it's very strong with a lot of pain but um, nevertheless, right now I'm kind of scared, so I'll go with the removal spell, which always makes me feel safer. Yeah, I was just talking. <laughs> um, okay, the Warsong Commander uh, is actually a very interesting card. Um, I'm yet to really utilize it usefully in an arena deck. I mean, sometimes it's useful, uh, most of the time it's kind of too 
like you know, it's overpriced for its body, right? Obviously. Um, so uh, yeah, the grunt. Uh, I don't like the grunt. Talked about it. The whirlwind is decent. It's not amazing. It's not uh, unlike uh, constructed deck where you have tons of uh, minions that trigger their abilities uh, after uh, you know every time a minion gets damaged or something. Right now I have nothing, so I'm kind of scared. Um, but I'll go with the whirlwind, going for the more more controlish deck. Um, okay, uh, all three cards are pretty good. Shield block, even in an arena, um, I actually like it. I I used to to think that you know it's a three mana and it gives you zero board control, so why do I need it? Uh, but the way I like playing Warlock, uh, Warrior, uh, which is very passive, relatively. Um, so it's very, it's it's very useful, especially if I really lucky and I have Shield Slam, something like that. But this is a e really easy pick because the Swamp Ooze is very good, um, especially by the way against me. <laughs> so I'll go with the Swamp Ooze. I have, uh, by the way. Right now, it's it's uh, kind of surprising, but I have only two creatures out of six cards. Uh, okay, moving on. Heroic Strike. It's a pretty pretty easy pick. It's a removal spell. Um, you might combine it with an existing weapon to you know really really uh, punish the enemy. Um, I don't want to have too many whirlwinds. I have nothing really to activate right now. So I'll go with a heroic strike. Okay. Um, deckhand, even though I might actually get the charge, because I hope I'll have more than one weapon. Um, it's. Uh, well, it's just too weak. I, I mean, it's 2 1 for 1 mana. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I would rather use the card for something better. Uh, on the other hand, this is a very tough call. Because. Um, the Silver Hand Knight is very good. I really like it. Uh, you always want to play it unless you're really scared of I don't know, Flame Strike or something. Uh, it's six six for five mana. Um, the sum total, which is very powerful. Uh, the Cruel Taskmaster has lots of different tricks that you can do with it. Uh, the simplest one is just to kill off uh, an enemy minion with one life left. Um, you can use it as a wonderful, uh, you know, enrage tool. Uh, it's like you know, you, you, you kick a, a worgen, yeah, um, raging worgen, and it gets like six two wind fury, which is amazing. Um, but right now, I think I'll go with the safer pick. Uh, yeah, the taskmaster is more situational. I'll go with the uh, Silver Knight and Knight. Uh, okay, let's see. Now remember that, like, unlike uh, a Paladin, with, where, for example, uh, turn two, uh, hero power one one soldier is not amazing, but it's it's viable. Yeah, uh, if I armor up on my second turn. Um, I might be in serious trouble because I'm losing momentum. Um, let's think. Let's think. So yeah, well, what I wanted to say is that I really need to do to to have a lot of two mana cards. <laughs> it's important um, for a warrior even more than uh, for any other class. Anyway, um, let's go. Wow, it's a tough call because the. M Maggie, um well, both has okay stats, and it's actually kind of fun with something like Whirlwind um, or Slam. Um, and I have zero four drops, so I'll go with a Maggie. I hope I won't regret it. Okay, an easy pick. This sucks. Uh, this is simply irrelevant if you're not a priest. Violent Teacher might be useful. Uh, it has decent stats for four mana. I'll go with that. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, I actually like the Grizzly more and more uh, the more I play it. 3-3 um, three, three for 3 mana is not bad, especially since it has taunts. So, 
Actually, I like it more and more. But this is a really easy pick because the Yeti is really very, very good. Uh, hmm. Okay, interesting. I don't like the priestess. It should uh, she should cost I don't know four, four and a half, <laughs> and then she's she's uh, viable. Um, among the two silence minions, the owl is basically just a silence for two mana. I mean the the two one body is rarely any, of any use. The spellbreaker on the other hand is quite useful on its own. I'll go with the spellbreaker, and I really need three drops as soon as possible. Okay, moving on. Again, all three cards are pretty good. Hopefully I'll get some more weapons, except for the one I have right now. Um, and I'll play a raider. Because if it's an early game, so 2-3 for 2 mana is decent, it's it's okay. Um, and it might get really huge later on in the game. Um, I actually like the knight, because it's kind of a removal spell sometimes. I don't know. But I have enough uh, four drops uh, as is, so I'll go with the two drop. Really need three drops, but that's not the one, especially since I have mass removal. Um, remember that you need the opponent to have two minions at least to play cleave. Yeah, you can't kill one, kill off one guy. But uh, anyway, amazing card <laughs> works well with my ogre <laughs> from before. <laughs> but even without the ogre, it's uh, it's a uh, very good. Yeah, I mean, uh, usually, uh, if the opponent is uh, is very aggressive or something, it, he will have two guys that you can kill on the second or third turn, which will be amazing. Yeah, um, I want. I don't want to say uh, <laughs> to go as far and as to say that you're gonna win the game for sure, but it will give you a huge advantage. Crappy cards. I'll go with a. Wow, I don't know actually. Uh, I really hate all of them. Yeah, they they work bad with my whirlwind. I'll go with the tide hunter because it's at least somewhat playable. Um, yeah, great. Don't like the core hound. It's too weak for seven mana. I mean, on the health side charge we talked about. I'll go with the leopard dome, even though it doesn't really fit the deck. Hallelujah. That's the best second drop in the warrior deck. Okay, basically you want to drop it after your opponent played a three-two or two-three or something, and just kill it off the bats. And it's almost always a two-for-one and a big tempo swing. And so really, no-brainer here. I really need three drops, please. I need three drops. Huh. Okay. None of these cards are very exciting. I think I'll go with a Battle Rage. Um, the problem with Rampage is that you need a kind of big creature and then you need it damaged, right? So unless you draw a Whirlwind or something in our deck, Whirlwind, uh, or un unless you want to slam it, <laughs> which I usually don't recommend. So basically I'm afraid that by the time I can rampage it, it will be half dead. So I don't know, it's very situational. I'll go with the Battle Rage, it, uh, even if you draw like two cards of it, uh, it's already good, right? Because one of the damage creatures will be your hero, probably. So you need a damage creature in play. Which you can usually get, and it becomes an you know uh, like the uh, arcane uh, wisdom of the mage, only one mana cheaper. Okay, moving on. I really hate the Nightblade, <laughs> even though it has okay stats. Um, so execute or rifleman? Hmm. I'm gonna go with the rifleman, not because it's better, but because I really, really don't have three drops. And it's uh, getting, you know, late in the deck. Oh, I was just talking. Um, in this specific deck, Demolisher is amazing. Because anyway, I, 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 well, I kind of want to stall the game out and take control of the board. So Demolisher is very good with that. A Priestess is too fragile, even though it can sometimes really be annoying if you have a, a small 
taunt guy that uh, gets pumped by the priestess and then the priestess doesn't die on the first turn that it's in play so you can get really nice card advantage with, from from her but I'll go with the demolisher the safe pick very good hmm usually I would pick Yeti without uh, flinching but right now I'm kinda light on the heavier side and if I wanna really be a control deck I need big guys eventually hmm one two three four or yeah but I think I'll go with the Yeti anyway um, yeah yeah it's it's good enough to so take another one oh man now my mana curve is all fucked up yeah I'll go with the dwarf it's just too strong just too strong and this is the best card I think it's the best class card for a warrior. Maybe maybe the Gorhal is better, I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely. Frothing Berserker. Right, because besides the fact that it works amazingly with my one whirlwind, unless it's taken care of pretty much immediately, it grows huge proportions. Okay, and it's a three drop, which is very important. By the way, the commanding shout, okay very situational um, if you're an aggressive deck that wants to trade this is amazing um, if you're not then most of the time it might be a dead card I'll go with the berserker anyway okay great the inner rage by the way is much better than I th originally thought okay I thought it's like well, it, it's a whole card for pretty weak effect but the fact that it costs zero uh, it can give you a big tempo advantage uh, if you kill off something or you know you pump your own guy so it can trade with a much bigger guy it has many many uses not a bad card but in this situation there's really no dilemma I need bigger guys okay I don't have any and it's a five drop and it's a really good card regardless mercenary it is um, this is an easy pick even though I have tons of two drops uh, even though some of them are you know removal spells which I probably don't want to play in the second turn uh, I'll go with the mad bomber it's very good it can damage a guy um, which is useful like my own guy my own minion I'm one of the only classes that you know can actually make use of that right um, yeah okay anyway moving on I'm not gonna take another four drop especially since I'm not sure it's that useful for me right now I have only like three or four cards that can make use of the spell damage um, this is a good question I think I'll go with the taskmaster let's see what we can make yeah, what we can uh, you know what tricks we can make I'm not gonna take another one my two drop slot is is really really uh, over the top already I think I'm gonna go with the elite um, I mean the spell breaker is good okay it's it's a semi removal spell uh, yeah for example you know you, you silence a demolisher and then you don't really care about it you silence a guy that got uh, pumped yeah or anything else um, but they have charge which is very important sometimes well then again I have uh, one of the problems that I don't that I have with a spellbreaker is that it's not really a four drop yeah it's pretty rare that you actually have something on the board uh, of the opponent that you really want to silence so it's I'm not sure it's really a four drop unlike the elite which is you which usually is um, actually play it usually as a removal spell yeah I charge in trade with someone they die yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll c I convinced myself that I probably need the Spellbreaker as another removal spell. And it's okay that I don't play it on the first drop, because I have enough 4 drops as is. Spellbreaker it is. Okay, great. Uh, I really like the Crusader, um, unless I'm playing against a mage. In which case, it, well, it kind of sucks, because, you know, 
not only it can kill the divine shield with the spell power, it can kill <laughs> the crusader itself. I really need three drops anyway, so really there's no other option here. Um, the infiltrator is actually better than I originally thought. I think I talked about it in the past. Just keep it stealth against guy against heroes that can deal one damage, and it will do two damage eventually to something, which is not bad, right? Crusader it is. Wow, that's actually a tough call. It's a tough call. Hmm, because yeah, but okay, no, but but the cleave is more situational, so I'm gonna go with the war axe. Right, because the cleave not only you need the other guy to have two creatures uh, at least. But if it has five creatures, you probably want to hit, you know, only well two or three specific ones, and then you're not sure that it's gonna hit the right ones, etc., etc., etc. Um, unlike a, a war axe, which I, I mean, I want to play it on turn two always. Okay, moving on. Uh, last pick, last pick. Pretty tough call. The blood knight, if it has uh, a divine shield to steal and you play it on the third turn, then sometimes you just win the game right there. Um, but usually it doesn't happen. Um, uh, by the way, it's okay to play it on the third turn anyway. Yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, but I think I need a bigger guy. Right, I don't have enough big guys. So, it, will, it means that we're gonna go for one of them. The manipulator Probably I won't have anything very interesting to copy. So the question is, do I want to bet that my opponent is going to have huge cars? Or I'm going to take the Sea Giant, which is, um, you know, is the safer pick. Um, especially in the arena where, you know, there are minions on the battlefield. So... I mean, in, in a regular deck I would probably go for the Manipulator. Right now, I think I'm gonna take the Sea Giant because I want bigger guys. Um, it's a really tough call. Yeah, you know, choose whatever seems right to you. So, thank you everyone for watching. Um, wish me luck. Uh, the deck turned out... It's reasonable, it's not amazing. Um, I think I can I can go at least five, hopefully seven. Yeah, I think seven is is plausible with the deck. Uh, yeah, so wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.